Hey, Greg Wilder here, DNG Productions. Wanted to show you how to do some chroma keying without a blue or green screen, just using some household stuff like your wall. And then combine it with some pre produced graphics from whippets.com to make some really simple but really cool graphics. And just using a camcorder. <laughs> So basically you could take any wall and clear it doesn't matter what color it is it could be beige it could be white blue or green would actually be preferable take your camcorder set up some lights as the diagram I'm about to show you three lights is preferable if you don't have three two is fine one is even okay because we're not going to make a perfect chroma key there are going to be some uh, some imperfections in it but it's going to be incorporated with the graphics so it's not going to really matter basically start with a fresh project I've already imported my three clips that I'm going to be using um, let's just drag in our first clip that we got from our camcorder and our uh, beige-ish wall behind us. Uh, first of all, let's get rid of the audio because we're not going to need it. Right-click it and delete. Let's just delete this whole clip right here. Delete track and bring in our Whippets graphic, Whippets.com, really cool stuff. And you'll notice right off the bat that uh, it does not fit each, you know, the sizes are off. It's because the graphic is in high def 1920 by 1080 and this is a standard 720 by 486 camcorder clip. Which is real simple to fix. Go over to the right side of the clip, hit event pan crop, open it, and change it to 16 by 9 widescreen. Boom, there you go, real simple. Let's bring our audio clip in here underneath, play it real fast. We'll play it just to hear it. It's a pretty cool track from freshmusic.com. Really good stuff. All right, as you notice, we don't have any effect here. So basically, we're going to go into the event effects and left click, open it up. Of course, we're going to go to chroma keyer. You can double click it or highlight it and hit add. Let's just double click it. It's up in our window here. Hit OK. And simply pick the eyedropper. Pick color from screen is what comes up in Sony Vegas and bring it right over your monitor window here and click it. Boom. It's it's really that simple. There are going to be a few adjustments here. We can bring it down. We can bring it over a little bit. Here we go. Let's grab it first. So we have more of me, which is not really exciting. Put a little blur in there and voila. Of course, there's more stuff we're going to do but you get the idea and there goes uh, cool Greg yeah right alright let's let's go ahead right now um, we want to uh, trim the clip a little bit so that it starts with me looking real cool uh, so we're just going to drip wrong but wrong here we go until your little icon looks like that you can drag it over snap it to your timeline there drag it back over play it again from the beginning actually it's pretty cool right there but what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow it down so it looks even cooler right click the clip until you get to insert remove envelope we're gonna hit velocity now this will speed up or slow down your clip to uh, up to 300 percent and down to 100 percent minus 100 percent which will actually reverse it which you don't want to do you could put keyframes in there you know add points and you can bring it up bring it down but we don't want to do that so we're just going to delete that and right click and delete that and we're gonna slow it down let's say by around 50 percent you could drag it like this or if you just click on the little square here you can actually set it to a certain percentage so we'll set to type in 50 hit enter and play it again Now, as you see, you can see the graphic behind my face. If you really wanted to try to get perf perfect, you're not going to, basically. But you can try to make some adjustments here with the threshold. And there you go. But you're starting to see a little bit of the wall in there. And we'll change the high threshold a little. 
You can actually even, if you wanted to, get it to where you don't see any of anything bleeding through your subject, which right now is me. And you can add another by, of course, going to your effects button. And you can add another chroma key. You can do as many chroma keys as you want. And we'll hit add, hit OK, and we'll use the eyedrop, and we'll pick this color right here. And it still deletes me, so we'll bring down the high threshold. And again, like I said, it's not going to be perfect, so don't worry about it. Let's just delete this one. So we're only, we only have that one there. We'll adjust it a little more. We'll bring the high back down. And we won't worry about the bleeding through on my skin. You know, It could be worse. Hit play a little bit. You can do anything you want at this point. You've got this cool graphic going on. You can go back to the effects. And we can add to the keychain. Oh, we don't want to delete. We can add and we can throw in some light rays and we'll change, we'll bring the color down by using the secondary color corrector. So we've got the two in here, it should open up in light rays. Well, nope, it opened up in second color corrector, but we'll go over to the light rays, we'll bring the strength up, blow them out a little bit. We can bring this over so it's right on top of him, or me. And then we can go over to the color corrector, bring down the saturation can make it black and white, which we don't want to do. You know what? Let's delete the secondary color corrector and go back in and do the standard color corrector. Add. Okay. Now let's change the skin to it. Let's just change the color of the subject. Make it a little more like the background. Or you can make it exactly opposite of the background, which is which is pretty cool too, actually. But you see, you'll see some of the wall showing up here. So if we go with the a similar color to the background, it won't be so noticeable. Go over, and we could actually, we should be able to do a color picker here. There we go. And you can adjust the highs and the lows and the mediums. I mean, it, you really just have to play with it, but now it's affecting the whole screen. So let's just put that back to zero. And hit play. It looks a little pronounced for me, so we can actually bring the levels down if we want to blend them in a little bit more like that. You know, go down to say 50%. Or you could actually drag the, there's a little, you can't see it, but it's an opacity bar on top of the clip. You could drag that down, say 60, 50%, whatever you think is good for your, your clip. Let's bring it back up. And what was I going to do? Oh, you could also change to overlay or difference or any of these, um, layer or track effects. Go to screen, no. Go to difference. Difference is kind of cool. A little too much for me though. And lighten is too much. What's wrong one? Dodge. You could do a lot of different things here, but let's just put it back to let's try add. No, still not working the way I wanted it to. Okay. So we'll just go back to to where it was. Where was it? Whoa! Source alpha, cut screen, and just go back to that. There we go, 3D. Now, now you could do 3D things with it actually if you wanted to. You could you know, go into your 3D once you hit that and you can make adjustments and do some other interesting things with it if you wanted to. If you were uh, going to do something like that, you could actually expand it at this point by going into the event pan crop and doing something weird with it if you wanted to, but I really don't want to right now. Control Z to undo that. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z brings you back to the original. And let's just play it. You basically get the idea. So I'm going to go with that. Let's add an extra track in there. Insert video track. Put in a little text. Uh, another fine toot tutorial by me. How about that? Not really exciting, but change the color. You can do anything you want now. And once you get the basic idea, you can just have fun with it and uh, do some crazy things. And bring the placement over here. Close it.
And there we go. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it was quick and easy for you and you learned something new.